How's it going everyone? It's me Vivi and welcome to a Sly Cooper 5 and oh no wait that's wrong. How's it going guys? It's me Vivi and welcome to a Sly Cooper related video but seriously where is Sly 5 right? Okay now for those of you who've known this channel for quite some time now I've been using footage from Timing is Everything which is this animated short which promoted Sly Cooper 4 if you remember and initially that animated short was split into parts. Now I was thinking these past couple of days like have I ever analyzed it. Where does timing is everything take place in the timeline? So there you go folks, here's a video of me trying to analyze this animated short. It's 2017 and this dude is analyzing a game from 2013? Hey look, I started this channel in 2015, okay? Two years after Sly Cooper 4 got released, alright? Now here's the thing, the information I'm about to go over, do not take it as evidence, take it more as clues, alright? Because honestly, timing is everything, it's simply up for debate. The way I'm about to analyze this could lead to different parts of the timeline. So with that being said, let's begin. First thing I want to say, is it even worth analyzing? Like, is it canon? Well, this was never actually brought up in any discussion. Maybe it did, but I couldn't find any. Seeing as how it was used as a promotion made by Ghostbot, the same company who, you know, animated the scenes in Sly 4. I'd take it as canon, and this is not the first animated short we got in the series. So for the sake of this video, let's consider it canon. Okay, I know this animated short was not in the game. It was like a promotional trailer, I get that. But for now, consider it canon. Before we dive into detail, I believe this takes place after Sly 2. After Opera of Fear at least, because Murray is with the gang. Now we have two obvious clues. Bentley is in his wheelchair, and Sly looks back at the picture. Bentley got while he broke his legs in Sly 2. He had a wheelchair in Sly 3. Sly looks back at a picture from Timing is Everything. So this takes place between Sly 3 and the beginning of Sly 4. Well, before the events of Sly 4, let's go with that. That being said, Mugshot. What is he doing here? He got arrested again in Sly 2, that was the second time. How is he present here? Simple, he found a way to escape again. Mugshot appeared in episode 3 in Sly 3, well technically it's episode 4 if you want to count the prologue, but let's go with episode 3. But before I proceed, let me play a scene where Carmelita finds Mugshot. Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two-Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cop hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, Feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! <laughs> Mother? That you? I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Ugh, fucking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. If you paid close attention, he said you're that girl who arrested me back in Mesa City. So Flight of Fancy, aka Episode 3, with Penelope, was Mugshot's second encounter with Carmelita. If let's say Mugshot had said, hey, you got me twice before, you're not gonna catch me this time, you can say that timing is everything took place before Flight of Fancy, but it doesn't seem to be the case. This also brings to our attention the wings on the van. Was Bentley the one who installed that on his own or did he have help? If this took place before Holland, episode 3, it's not possible. Well, if he had help, that is. We can't say Penelope helped. They hadn't met her yet at that point. I could imagine Bentley attaching those using, you know, Murray's help. If they're heavy, right? He did attach a turret and a battering ram in Sly 1, thanks to the information provided by Otto Van Cooper in the book. Now, seeing how Penelope is skilled at piloting, I mean, she was the Black Baron, right? She, with time, understood aerodynamics. Is 
it too far-fetched? I wouldn't say so. Then again, Otto Van Cooper was known for these types of things. Bentley did make a plane for Sly using information provided by the book. So which one is it, then? Going with what Mugshot told Carmelita, that being his second encounter, then timing is everything was his third encounter with Carmelita, right? Therefore, this animated short took place after the events of episode 3, at a least. And keep in mind, the gang does take breaks. For example, after Penelope joined the gang, they took one week off, and this was explained by Sly. They were flying over Holland. And look, Penelope was controlling the plane. So maybe she was the one who helped Bentley put on the wings on the van during that one week period. If that were to be true, does that mean that the heist, which happened on the plane, took place within that one week vacation? It's possible. But did Mugshot escape that fast after he got captured by Carmelita again in Holland? Very possible. Nothing wrong with that. He maybe escaped during booking, he found a way, which according to Carmelita would have taken forever. That probably gave Mugshot enough time to escape. Now, going back to the wings on the van, in the last episode, Panda King used fireworks to move the van up to the vault. Where were the wings? So, it must have taken place after the last episode. Nope, it doesn't make sense. Sly had to fake amnesia afterwards. So timing is everything takes place before that, alright? Let's look at this. Here you can notice that the wings break down when the ship is about to crash. So the wings were no more. What about the booster? For some reason, it got removed. You see where I'm going with this? That's exactly why I told you it's debatable. Here's some sort of timeline to give you guys a summary. Timing is everything. Should take place within that red line somewhere. Where exactly? That's the question. Now let's go over another clue. Carmelita was absent in Dead Men Tell No Tales. Sly sent her a postcard, thinking that Carmelita would be at her office, but maybe she wasn't. She was looking for Mugshot, who escaped after episode 3 again. So timing is everything, we're looking at a period between the end of episode 5 and the beginning of episode 6. Remember, Carmelita was tied up on the ship in the utility closet, and Sly was not expecting to see Carmelita. Is it far-fetched to say that she was captured somewhere between the end of episode 5 and the beginning of episode 6? You be the judge. I think it could work. Something happened. Mugshot escaped slightly after episode 3, and in order to avoid Interpol, they tied her up and put her on board the plane. If Carmelita was on the plane, and that's when she got tied up, uh, I wouldn't think so, seeing as how she easily went through the guards once she was free. So, again, Mugshot was captured for the third time. Sly and Carmelita, they share a kiss. And afterwards, Carmelita decided to wear pants again, and thus takes place the vault heist afterwards. So again, let me bring up the timeline for you guys. Timing is everything should take place between the end a flight of fancy during that one week period, we can say, and before the last episode. If we add the possibility of Carmelita being captured during Dead Men No Tales, then this animated short could have taken place slightly before episode 6. What do you guys think of that? So pretty much, if Carmelita was captured, she had been captured for a long time. We don't really know how long it took for Sly and the gang to deal with Lefui and everything, but if she was missing for that reason only, then yes, she's been on that plane, or maybe somewhere else before, tied up. The whole time. I mean, Carmelita has always been after Sly. What made her decide that it's not worth it? And then, oh, she suddenly appears in episode 6. So it's highly possible that during Dead Men Tell No Tales, Carmelita was looking for Mugshot and then eventually got captured. And then slightly before the last episode, Sly decided to go on that heist on that plane. So there you go. So in the comment section below, which one would you go with? With Carmelita's absence, her being captured, or before? If before, explain why in the comments section below. And yep, as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.